everyone welcome to my channel today uh, we're gonna see about uh, a combination of uh, box plot and volume plot along with jitter data point with the statistical uh, details and the uh, following two packages are uh, really important the first one is a dg start plot and the second one is a dg plot and the uh, dg start plots help us to compute uh, to combine uh, box plot as well as uh, violin plot along with uh, many uh, statistical uh, details so in order to use or in order to create a combination of box plot and violin plot with statistical information we should have to use uh, gg between stat uh, function and this is followed by uh, data and for sake of this tutorial we will use the data iris which is found in r so no need to uh, import our data and the x-axis is uh, it's obvious uh, our treatment factor and uh, under such circumstances uh, species is our treatment and y is the response uh, variable and uh, here is the title you can give any title that you want for example effect of different species on the plant height or in you know, plant status or the plant growth whatever you like so i write uh, just like effect of species then the plot type uh, are this uh, this case uh, you have uh, three different options the first one is the only box plot or only the violin plot or together or the combination of a box plot and a violin plot so which you are interested box plot violin plot or the combination of two so it will give you three options and again here is uh, a statistical approach again also there are four uh, different uh, options for statistical approach the first one is the parametric and the second one is the non-parametric and the third one is the robust and the fourth one is the bias so uh, you can also use uh, the initial letter of each uh, statistical approach for example if you are interested to use a parametric you can say p only and again for non-parametric n for the robust uh, r and for the bias b so it's also another the other possibility that gives you the statistical approach and the other thing is the pairwise comparison so if you uh, if you adjust the pairwise comparison to true means r will display only significant value but for example uh, if you want to display the non-significant or both non significant together with uh, uh, a significant one, you should have to use the pairwise dot display. This helps us uh, one to display the non significant or to display the non significant or the combination of the two. So, if you want to display the combination of two, for example, in case if the treatment, uh, some treatment are significant, some treatment are non significant, you should have to use or to display all such things and again if you want if you are only interested on a significant uh, on a significant treatment so you have to specify s or you can write significant so either of s or significant and again if it is uh, if you are only on non-significant value you can specify ns or you can write the full autonomy NS means stands for non significant. You can write non significant, significant, and all. Or uh, S and NS. I think the, uh, the short form is uh, better. And the other uh, method is, for example, you can adjust your uh, P value. And there are a number of uh, adjustment methods. And here, Holland is the default one then you there are uh, you can use a number of uh, you can use the other options uh, like hochberg homel bhby benfroni ftr and again none none means if you uh, don't want to uh, adjust your p you can use the none one and if you are using the parametric test so you can specify the effective uh, the effective size type either ETA uh, that means the partial ETA square or the omega square and here the results dot subtitle means uh, it display all mm, information yeah uh, I'll show you later 
So if you don't want that, and if you want, if you want to display only the um, box plot or the violin plot information, you can use uh, a result of subtitle to false. Then var dot equal to false means if you are not assumed that the uh, homogeneity of variance among the treatment groups are not, uh, uh, or um, uh, that means, uh, sorry, uh, var dot equal means it is uh, homogeneity of variance, or when you assume there is equal variance, you can use to true. And again, when you are assume after testing several, there are several techniques that to check whether the treatments are homogeneous or heterogeneous. So. Uh, you can say true or false. Then uh, the confidence level is uh, you can create around 95% or 90%, and the number of uh, bootstrap sample, uh, especially to space to or to get the confidence interval, the default one is 1000. You can use by this way. These are uh, the points argument, the position, the jitter uh, position, the jitter width. And again the violin so um, and again here is you can use the gg tab which helps us to get a beautiful and attractive uh, uh, box plot or uh, image then the packets i use here the r color drawer and uh, from this i select the palette uh, paste uh, pastel one for example if you don't know about the package and in the palette, you can use uh, this uh, formula. That means a view uh, paletter, then you can write this thing, it will give you detailed information. So let's put this hashtag and let's run this. Yeah, so it will give you uh, all this information. So I selected among, the, among these options. Art color brewer, and from that uh, paste it. For example, let's see. Uh, for example, if you are interested on this palette, and you can use uh, this is a package, this is the palette. Uh, again, from the art uh, color brewer, I got this, uh, this um, palette. Then I select the paste it, the pastel one then if you are interested you can use the different options so let's use the gg between uh, stats our data name is iris and the exact is species or our treatment and the y is the sepa links for the response variable and for use different plantates green and whatever it is the type of that means the statistical approach is p which means for the parametric and the plot type is i am interested in a box plot uh, together with violin plot, so I'm using this box of violin. But if you are interested in the box plot, you, you can only say box, or if you are interested on violin, you can specify the violin. And the pairwise comparison is true, <coughs> then uh, pairwise uh, display, uh, for example, let's say here not only significant, all that means both significant and non significant. And the pages method is there are a number of options. I use the column, which is a default one, and a result is dot subtitle to display all uh, relevant information. So I say true. Then the variance, uh, equality of variance. Uh, so I assume here is true. Then the confidence interval is 0 0.956. The number of bootstrap sample for, for calculating the confidence interval is 100. Then these are you can change by yourself. So let's read. Yeah. Yes. So here is the number of sample for this species is fifty, fifty, fifty. And again, here is a Holland is adjusted method. And the p value between these two groups are uh, uh, 0 0.0000, which is uh, iterator is negative 15, so it's statistically significant. Again, uh, the Setosa and this group again also statistically significant, and these two is also statistically significant. 
So uh, if I'm not interested on this uh, detail information, again, this detail information, I can change here into um, false. Yes, false, sorry, false, yeah. So it's only display the box plot, yeah. Let's zoom it. Yeah. Then uh, let's uh, change to um, other thing. For example, uh, uh, it's already significant, so it's display. Let's change this into a box plot. Yeah. So you can get here is a. Uh, uh, box plot only. But if you are interested for a uh, violin, then uh, you can change this box violin into what? Into this. So, so on, it's displayed only the violin one. Then let's change this color, for example. Uh, let's use this set two. Yeah. Color set two. Yes, it gives other color. And uh, again, uh, for example, the other thing is. Um, Let's use uh, other method of adjustment instead of uh, uh, Holland. Let's use uh, Ben Ferroni. Ben Ferroni, yeah. Then put it here instead of Holland. Yeah. So from Holland to what? To Ben Ferroni. Let's see. Yeah. So uh, by this way you can compute statistical uh, analysis for box plot, violin plot, and for a combination of box plot and uh, violin plot together. So this is all about uh, the GG start plots or GG start between uh, package in our software. I'll put the code in description box in the, in the description box for your practice and see you soon.